Good afternoon, we are on Sunday 21st of February 2021. I'm going to be sharing with you daily meditations with Saint Augustine. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. We are safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thy prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Today he is saying, the creator of heaven. What greater mercy could there be toward the miserable than that which pulled the Creator down from heaven and clothed the founder of the earth in an earthly body. This made the one who abides equal in eternity to the Father equal to us in mortality, imposing the form of a servant on the Lord of the world, so that bread itself would be hungry, fullness would be thirsty, strength would become weak, health would be wounded, and life would die. The prayer you, Lord, have blotted out all the evils in me. Amen. I'm to pick up my little old falling to bits prayer book. Lord, time is your gift to me, and through it, you who are eternal, enter my life and world. Guide inspire and help me to fill every moment of every hour full to the brim with your presence so that it may overflow to others around me and quench their thirst for a true meaning to life amen lord help me to use time well especially when I'm waiting for my next task, just as you waited in Nazareth before beginning your public life, and during that time grew daily in age and wisdom before God and men. Amen. Lord, give me the grace to work, to bring about the things that I pray for. Amen. Lord, Give me faith to believe that all work, however humble, is sanctified by your presence when we offer it to the Father, just as you offered your lowly work as a carpenter in Nazareth to the glory of his name. Amen. As tools come to be sharpened by the blacksmith, so may we come, O Lord. As sharpened tools go back with their owner, so we may go back to our everyday life and work to be used by thee, O Lord. Amen. The final prayer that I see in front of me, respect for animals. God, loving creator of all life, help us to treat with compassion the living creatures entrusted to our care. May they never be subjected to cruelty and neglect, and may the dominion you gave us over them be a partnership of mutual service, so that through them we come to a greater appreciation of your glory in creation. 
and thank you for listening and may God bless you and heal you and I'm sending you God's peace in abundance and be happy and joyful in the Lord always. Thank you for listening.